I've been in the mission for at least, uh, I think, two and a half years. Living in the mission for one year and working in the mission for about three and uh, living in San Francisco for about four years. I am from Moscow, Russia. I'm original from Guanajuato, Mexico. I have 11 years in this restaurant, but I have 32 years in this country. 12 years. We opened, we opened our shop in 1998. 25 years ago. I'm old now. <laughs> I came to the mission because I began to work here, Black and Blue Tattoo. I came here because uh, to enjoy this weather, the culture, and open this beautiful restaurant. Um, it's just a business opportunity. I was, a few years ago I was looking for a place to open my own business and I find out that the mission has the cheapest rates, you know, they fit my budget. Mishkoal means the Milky Way and it's, the Mishkoal is writing in Nahuatl. That's the language that our, my grandpa and my ancestors used to still speak. Oh, this neighborhood has changed quite a bit um, <laughs> over the years. I'd say, uh, you know, when I first uh, came here, it was um, definitely a little rougher around the edges, a lot more, uh, you know, junkies on the street, not that they're not there now. But um, it was just a little, I guess, grittier um, in, for the most part. And then since then, there's slowly been sort of more upscale businesses moving in and then closing and then more opening. And now it just seems like it's sort of getting a little more polished, um, you know, as the years go on, for sure, and definitely a lot of the uh, sketchy factors have been sort of getting pushed out to the side, you know, for better or worse. Less gangs, less droughts, and neighborhood cleaning. I remember when I came here, it was a lot of, a lot of violence. There's been a lot of shootings around the mission, but it's been better. Every time better and better. So it's good. Well, I see more diversity right now because, you know, Mission has always had this reputation. It's more of like a Latino, Hispanic population. But I see more of Chinese, Asian, white people, people like me, you know, Indian slash Filipino. Yeah, there's, there's more diversity now. There's a lot of people from different cultures which is very nice. I can see that affect a lot of business before because nobody come, want to come, uh, uh, come to the mission because uh, it was very uh, dangerous. People didn't feel safety, but now uh, it's very good. I mean, it's getting better and better for businesses. Now people can come and, and feel more secure. So I've seen a lot of changes, very good changes. I couldn't imagine before having my family here around in the mission and, and be around with all these issues. Uh, we work in, I work in hard with my family. I have two sons over here and, and we work together and we make it okay over here. We're working on it to keep the mission alive. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the next five or ten years in this neighborhood, um, I mean, I would expect it's probably going to get a lot more upscale.
I think it's, uh, it's going to be, we're going to see less Latinos and more white people and other kinds of people except Latinos. We're going to see less Latinos in this, in this area. I think it's going to keep getting gentrified, more little boutiques and expensive little stores. That's probably what I perceive for this neighborhood. Before, before a lot of owners were from, uh, were like me, you know, all of the ones who speak Spanish, they all have business here in the mission, but now nobody, I mean, uh, it's, they're, they're gone now, mostly they're all gone, and I would really love to, if I could change that, like bring them in again or encourage new people to come and have a business here on the mission on 24, especially 24, and that would be great. Uh, that, that will keep the spirit of the mission because I know I remember a long time ago when I came that was part of it like everybody was and all the owners were uh, the ones who speak Spanish which is nice in court those are the ones who encouraged me also to have my own business see more activities for kids because you know like we have a few parks but something that you know can bring the community together with adults and kids i would like to see more more stuff like that and a few more festivals you know like why not you know we have to celebrate the mission we teach i'm traditional Aztec dancer uh, free classes whoever wants to come and take the classes everybody's welcome and something spiritual that you can feel we need it right now in this very hard times. We need it. I would like to see more low-income housing, more services available to the poor, and less um, trust fund babies moving into the neighborhood. I ask the authorities to, to bring more protection to us, to the business people, to open more longer in the night time, because of the night time sometimes is, is dangerous. We need to see more police officers in the corners and, you know, the hard, hard areas where, you know, you see crime sometimes. You see a lot of graffiti on the streets. Some people complain about the police, you know, presence, but uh, I think a lot of people like it and they're just not vocal about it. I hope one day mission will be like Noi Valley, but here in 24 in mission, yeah. Because the mission will always be the mission, but you know, we need to take care of stuff like that. The shop has been there since the 90s when IDEXA opened it and at that time this neighborhood was more working class, queer people and Latinos.
Well, I won't change anything. That's the beauty of this neighborhood. Like I say, you know, that's, that's the heart of the Latin community. We love the mission. My favorite thing? Uh, everything. But mostly the weather and food and the people from this, the neighborhood. Uh, the murals. Like the murals, you know, it's uh, a lot of people, actually me working here in the store probably 10, 12 hours every day, a lot of people come in and ask for the, for the murals, you know, so it's, it's kind of like a spot where people come in, look for those things. I like the spirit, the spirit of the mission that is. It's so vibrant, so colorful, there's great food, there's always something crazy happening on the street, like, you know, good or bad, but there's something. It's just a great neighborhood, there's just so much life here, and um, definitely not, it's not touristy, so you don't get, you know, people coming in and just gawking, you just get people who are from around here just visiting, which, um, you know, it's a very real place to be. It comes with the good and the bad. There's things that drive me crazy and you know, make me want to get the hell out of the city too. But uh, you know, for the most part, I just I, that comes with the good, and that's part of what makes it what it is. So, yeah. My favorite thing about the mission is living two blocks from everywhere I will ever need to go. Mm -hmm.